the fish tank guy store here in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. This morning I adopted this, looks to be about a five inch, maybe four and a half inches clown loach. He's in my window display tank, 155 gallon bowl front with an FX6 filter, good for up to a 400 gallon tank, so plenty of filtration. I just put him in this tank, introduced him to what I would say his little brothers and sisters. So I've had these other smaller clown loaches for a few months now inside this tank. I currently have a total of eight of these smaller clown loaches, eight or nine, I lose count, but um, um, I just turned the lights on so they're all waking up and coming out. And I have a few more of these smaller clown loaches hiding somewhere in this driftwood and over here behind this UV sterilizer. But this is my window display tank here at the Fish Tank Guide store in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Um, a bunch of African cichlids in here and various catfish from Africa and South America. Uh, a lot of fish in this tank are adopted. I got three African leaf fish in here adopted. I have this albino beecher adopted. This common pleco is in here adopted. That striped Raphael catfish adopted. This big Sinodonis catfish adopted about seven months ago. So a lot of fish in here that are adoptions and, and some that I've gotten from tanks that I bought and some that I bought from my fish distributor. This black one right here, that's an adoption. Um, last year, January, I got that one. So yeah, super excited to have this really big clown loach in my window tank. I just picked them up this morning in Quakertown, Pennsylvania. Um, the household that I picked, up, picked it up from, the, um, the man gave me uh, $15 to help pay for some of my gas expense driving up up there and then um a, a little bit afterwards gave me another twenty dollars and you know buy myself some lunch and and so forth so i was pretty generous of him um thanks to him i thanked him a few times you know i wasn't expecting that um plus he gave me a ton of fish food all of these uh this clown loach this big one and i got like seven or eight other smaller fish that i'm gonna show you in a second i got them in a different tank than my community fish tank but he had raised all the all of them in 125 gallon. So this clown loach is used to a six foot long tank like my 155 gallon bow front. So he should feel right at home in this tank. I just put him in here a few minutes ago and usually my lights are off on a Sunday and they a lot of times they recommend when you introduce new fish in a tank to turn the lights off like for the first hour. It's a little less stressful on the fish and so forth so I'm turning the lights off so the small clown loaches can go back to sleep a Sunday your day off so to speak and and maybe this um this just adopted five inch clown loach can uh, be a little bit more relaxed a little less stressed out and and enjoy his new fish tank mates here at the Fish Tank Guy store in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. So, let me show you the other fish that I adopted. Say hi to Bubba. I adopted this giant guami uh, about three and a half months ago, and I named him Bubba. Big lip Bubba, there you go, big bottom lip anyway. And um, this is my African lungfish. I adopted, he's, he's about 33, and a half, 33 inches long. I adopted him four and a half years ago. He's my store mascot, so to speak. But anyways, um, back here, in the back of the store here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna point out some fish. This 55 gallon tank, I just overfed them a little bit. So even though it's a community tank, but still they always recommend feeding the tank before adding new fish. So the existing fish are kind of common collected, so to speak. So I'm gonna point out some fish. I've seen them before and some I haven't seen. All these are adopted this morning. Like for instance, what is that? That one, that one, almost like a goldfish a little bit, but 
I'm not sure what it is. If somebody recognizes it, can you ID it for me, please let me know. That one I got this morning, it looks like some type of Tetra, but this big one, that's the big one right there. That was Buddy Buddies with that big clown loach, that one right there. And I hated to separate them, but I didn't want to put that fish in my semi-aggressive African cichlid window tank. But if someone can identify this fish, let me know what it is. Um, I've never had this fish before, and I've had a lot of different fishes. I had something similar, but way smaller. This is about four and a half inches as well. So if any, anyone can adopt that one, please comment. Let me know. That's another one right there that I got this morning. I don't recognize it. I don't have, I, I don't know too much about community fish because I've always had aggressive, semi-aggressive, but yes, these two are adoptions this morning. I'm trying to point out everybody. Um, that one, no, not that one. That's a rainbow. I've had that. Um, let's see. That one right there. That might be a rainbow I've had. I got a few rainbows in here that I've had a few months now. But, um, but yeah, the main one is that big one. If, any, if anybody can identify that fish for me, holla, let me know. I'm curious to know what it is. And I'm uh, about to turn the lights off in this tank as well. I got some really small clown loaches in here that um, they're for sale, but I'm kind of like growing them out. They get bigger in the next few months and I'll be adding them to my window tank. I, I'm trying to get about 15 total in my window display tank, clown loaches. I like to have a nice big school of them like that. And um, I'm soon going to add a second FX6 to my window tank as well. So that's going to be 800 gallons of filtration on a 155-gallon tank. That's going to be pretty extreme. So I'm going to turn the lights off in this tank as well. And thanks for watching. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell alert to get alerts when I post other cool fish stories here at the Fish Tank Guys store. Fish happenings, fish tanks for sale, accessories for sale. So make sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell alert. Thanks for watching. Fish Tank Guys store here in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania.